morning. It's currently around like nine o'clock and I'm on my way to work. And I can assure you today, just like yesterday, it's gonna be a super short day. I guess I'm going to work and then by six o'clock I'm done. But who knows because Danny's going to the beach with his mom and his brother and his dad as well. And then maybe we're gonna do something in the evening, but we'll see. Either way, tomorrow I'm off, so tomorrow I'll have some content. Oh yeah. For now, just an outfit check. Blazer. Really short shorts because today is 28 degrees. And I hope you have a very nice day. Okay, so I'm at work now so I can actually show you the outfit I have on today. Nope. So the blazer is from Bershka. It was on sale for like 19 euros. It's kind of long, but it's pretty cool. And then I have cropped up on from New Yorker and my... Oh, where did I get these? I think H&M as well. And with my really disgusting shoes. Don't worry, I've been complaining about shoes for a very long time and I ordered already two new shoes uh, and hopefully they come in by tomorrow, I think. And I finally have another collaboration with Naked coming. So I will be showing you guys a discount code. <laughs> okay, now I'm off to work. I still have half an hour to get ready. Um, but I thought it's just nice to be early because the sun's out, so I was gonna walk a little bit around. Yeah, now it's time to work. See ya! Yeah, Never seen it. Oh. I am oh. back oh. home now. Work was horrible. And I'm not talking about my team because my team's awesome. But there were some people around it. Holy no, sweet not Jesus. Anymore. We're not gonna mention who it is. Anyways, we've got some really cool news. Um. <clears throat> oh wait, that's not cool news. I just mean more like Danny's dad and Satria's dad have gone back to Arnhem with his mom. So Satria, Danny's little brother, is staying here. And apparently he's never tried sushi before. And I'm gonna zoom into his face because that's 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 insane. You are going to love this. Uh, yes, you can see that we love it's salmon. Moving. Hmm? <laughs> what? It's moving. <laughs> the sushi that comes with it. Miko Bear. <laughs> you, you know Miko Bear, yeah, it's a restaurant uh, that sells noodles. Yeah. And they use chopsticks. So that's why I know how to use chopsticks. That's pretty cool though. I would yeah, try the salmon. Da -da -da -da. That's like the standard here. Hey, have you tried wasabi before? Yeah. Oh. Oh yes. I'm so excited. Oh. Oh shit. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty hard. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. If you do it on the rice, you can. Uh, Just use your hands now. Just Fuck use your it. hand. <laughs> that shit. All the rice is gonna go away now. Oh, it's so much sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you only have to dip it a little. <laughs> Is it still moving? Mm. It's good? Mm. Good. Oh, okay. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, we're propping it while we stand aside and look. Some say it's just part of it. So I got a cola, Donny got a mascamio, and this pretty lady over here got a margarita. Got a sexy ass margarita. Hello, señor. Che, che, me no margarita. Cheers. 
Italy, not so much. Yeah, so we down two. We don't have to be Yes, yeah, so yeah. Even though my family's funny with Good morning, everyone. Well, morning, I think it's like almost one o'clock already. Um, I'm getting ready right now because we are going for a little walk to probably NDSM. And uh, tonight I also have like a employee hangout or get together. So we're gonna go bowling. And then and after that I have uh, to go with Danny to an ice bar because his little brother has never seen snow or ice and unfortunately snow world is closed or like another place was super expensive and you can only go skiing but you can only ski if you've done it before uh, otherwise you have to take lessons and the lessons cost like 80 euros so that's just like a little bit too much money just for fake snow uh, so yeah, we've settled on a cute little ice bar in Amsterdam when you go inside and everything's made out of ice, so that's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, oh my god, do I have a story to tell you guys, and I'm so upset and happy at the same time. Yesterday, um, I don't know where I left off, but we ended up... Uh, in the evening going for a walk in Amsterdam city because we wanted to show Satria, his little brother what Amsterdam is like in the evening, you know, like in Amsterdam so we walked to, if you know good, if you don't know that's also fine but we ended up um, taking the metro from our house to Vijsselgracht and from there you can walk to Leidseplein and Leidseplein is like one of these places that if you're in Amsterdam you would go to um, so we went there and then when we got there Danny was like oh I want to you know uh, walk around and maybe grab a drink in like one of these cute little spots where you can sit down and just kind of watch everything unfold in light to play. Uh, but he walked the wrong direction and because I didn't know where he actually wanted to go I just kind of followed him. And then I was like, oh, where do you actually want to go? Because it's a dead, dead end after this. He's like, no, I wanted to go for these little drinks. I was like, oh, that's the opposite way. And I guess it's timing or in this case, I believe in God. And it was faith and destiny. But we turned around and as soon as we almost got close to where we wanted to go, I was walking in front with Satria and Danny was walking in the back and I heard just like Ligaya, like a shock from Danny in the back. So oh my god, something happened. So I turned around and I saw Danny with his hands like this, going just no movement, just only like staring. His pupils were like insanely dilated. I was like, what the hell's happening? And he was standing in front of like this one girl and like a couple. Okay, maybe like old classmates or something so I but they had their backs towards me so I didn't know what was going on so as I walked towards him I looked to the right and I, I shit you not and I almost shat yesterday it was Anderson Park no one else around him just this one girl that noticed him and Danny shitting his pants and like his mouth dropped to the floor staring at him so it was basically like the, the five of us in a circle and all of us like what the hell is happening and then he was so love struck like he was so out of it um uh, so i walked towards danny and i kind of patted him in the back like are you okay are you okay like while i was standing there i was like what the hell do you say to someone like this uh but he was really cool like, he like fist bumped and he was like hey guys and like the words that came out of danny was with was like, is, is, what did he say? He said like, is it, you're not really him, are you? Something like that. And then he kind of giggled. And, and he was with his wife, um, a very uh, nice Korean lady. Uh, and she was like, do you guys want me to make photos for you? And then she grabbed the phone and she made a photo of, of us. And it was just, I don't know, like an hour after we were still so, like we didn't have any like we didn't know what to say even now like i'm trying to explain how i felt or how i feel 
And I told Danny as well, it's weird because if you were to go to a meet and greet or you went to a concert, you're mentally prepared to see somebody, you know? But we were walking in our Amsterdam, the normal streets that we normally walk through, and just walked past him without security guards, without like a massive group ganging up on him, just past him and fist bumped him, made a photo and said, have a nice night, enjoy Amsterdam and you continue walking you like your lives just move on and it was it's so surreal to understand and i'm guessing i am really boring you guys because who gives shit like you haven't seen him but i am still in so much shock um yeah and and like half an hour later i was like god damn it i didn't vlog it if i vlogged it which, of course, I don't know if he was going to be fine with it. Like, we weren't trying to be too intrusive either. And we also tried to remain calm so that not everybody realized who the hell is, like, walking around in Amsterdam. But, yeah. No, I... I that would have been cool content. This title could have been I met Anderson Pack and Lights Blind. But now the title is going to be, like, here's a photo of me with Anderson Pack and Lights Blind. Either way, it was really cool. And I don't know how the hell that happened. And yeah, no, I still don't know. What to say. But the fact that I posed so badly, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but like my Instagram doesn't look that bad. And then you meet someone like this, and this is how you pose. But yo, you guys are dirty. Hold on. Huh? No, the camera. Okay, so we've made it to Anissa. We biked here and the weather is insane. Am I on the right lighting? Yes. So we made it here and we walked around a little, went to the exhibition, with that little building where like the offices are. Then we went to Albert Heijn. Grabbed some snackies. And now we're chilling by the water and it's also, if you follow my Instagram then you've probably so seen me sit here sometimes, just by the water. <laughs> and just soak up some sun. Didn't know if I wanted to keep them. Come on, focus. They're actually pretty nice. Because they're trendy right now to have some platform sandals. But I really like them. What? Uh-uh. 
you're planning to go to sugar factory but yeah there aren't that many choices there anyways in terms of shoes so we're planning to just go to the city because the, the sales still going on I don't know for how long but I think it's just nicer to have more options like JD and Foot Locker and Oxysport and Size and Snipe so I think we're just gonna go to the city it's also a bit cheaper to just travel that way instead of going all the way to Sugar Factory and then only having like Nike and Puma so yeah but uh, I don't know it's nice weather but because of the wind it's quite chilly but I do have a crop top on but then with a winter jacket on no it's not a winter jacket it's a spring jacket yeah nice vibes though tin, tin, tin. Ah. Hey, moves. <laughs> Currently, <clears throat> Friday, and I just came back from work. Quickly went home, showered, packed my stuff, my shit, um, ate a bread really fast, and now I'm on my way to Arnhem because tomorrow is a birthday party of Danny's bro little brother, sister, and dad. And we're gonna have a really nice barbecue, even though it's 21 degrees. I did bring a dress. And um, yeah, I have to go because I don't want to be there late because then there's almost no point of me leaving now. Later. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Otherwise, had a really nice day. Nothing to complain about, so bye. Landed in Julia's house and look who's busy with balloons, yeah? Can you help? Yeah. What are you doing? Let's film it. Is it for mama? Mm -hmm. Oh, Can all my This kid's complexion is insane. Like it? Yeah. So we are now decorating the house. With little balloons on the ceiling. And Danny and Julia's mom are... Are. Danny and Julia's mom is... busy in the garden. Look at this insane pool they have in the garden. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. so. Okay. Yes. Ja, 
It is really weird to not have the camera on. I don't know. Uh, but there is no nice. camera. Oh, there's no camera. Oh, yeah. Are you just talking to me? No, it's really nice. Because Oma, they made the food. And Dani made the food. Nasi, ura, ayam, sate, tempe. There's vegan stuff as well. in the morning and I'm on my way to work but I feel like shit for some reason Ugh, it's so cold even though it's gonna be 26 degrees mind you I'm grumpy so I'm going to say things that are not nice but what I really dislike about the Netherlands is that it's gonna be 28 degrees today or 26 so like, bloody warm, but I work at a shift that starts at 8. And the weather here, the temperature jumps so drastically that right now, I'm freezing cold. And then, I don't want to bring an extra jacket because in an hour, it's already going to be like 5 degrees warmer. And then you're like stuck bringing it winter coat everywhere but that means that now I am freaking freezing so yeah I just watched this guy look at me he almost got hit by a car because it didn't look really fucking fast and it is cold when we got to our station apparently our metro didn't go for 30 minutes and the metro also doesn't open so we were standing in the cold for half an hour and finally the metro arrived and we're at the station and now my train is so now I have to walk for half an hour to do it good morning I want to wear sunglasses but I feel like I never like fit wearing sunglasses ever. I always look. <laughs> I don't know. Sunglasses just don't suit me. But it is nice to be one of those cool kids that put them on top of their heads. Also, my forehead's kind of big, so like I've never managed to put my glasses like a normal person. It's always half in the back of my head. Anyways, it's 32 degrees today, so. I'm wearing my sennies from H&M, cropped up from New Yorker, some biker pants from H&M. Oh, we really need to wash that mirror. Uh, oversized jacket from H&M as well. I'm using my old shoes, the ones that are quite dirty from, what is this? Skechers. You can see that they're kind of brown as well. They're supposed to just be gray. But I'm wearing them because I'm going to work and I don't want to wear my new, new shoes. So yeah, that's my outfit. Putting it together with my naked bag. And we're off. Not the champs, right? Champ something? No, my that's my champ. That's like oh. a. Oh, but I know which one. But do we do only the first generation Pokemon, by the way? Yeah. Only first generation. No, okay, any, any. No, 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 they're not the fire monkey. Okay. No, 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 that's fine. It doesn't matter. Let's pretend we live like a really low life. Um, next on the Yeah, choose fire monkey as the outfit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. 
the 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 one that like looks like uh, she has a witch hat on and she's like a purple fairy. Oh, like dark purple. Yeah, dark purple. Mm, it's so freaking warm. You know, I said in this vlog that I wanted to show you guys something exciting, but um, I think it's going to be in the next vlog because it was just way too warm today to actually show you everything. Uh, no, basically the exciting thing was I got a super awesome new collaboration with Naked again, which means finally another discount code that I can basically share with you guys and also a little haul. But yeah, like I said, the weather's just a little too insane. Um, it's actually way colder inside than it is outside, so I am going to stay in here and I will show you what the house looks like right, right now. Laptop, food, clothes in the back, clothes on the table, nasty feet on the couch, TV on. It's just not the prettiest sight right now to make any photos. So sadly not this week, but I will start vlogging again tomorrow for the next vlog and then I'm going to show you the haul and share the discount code there. Um, do I have anything I need to share with you guys? No, actually I think this week has been very, uh, I don't know, minimal. I mean we've done a lot, but it's not crazy stuff either. Oh, hold on, Danny's calling Hi Shmoops, what'd you forget? Uh, so. Where the hell was I? Hold on, I gotta restart this. So, anything happened? No, it's been very mellow. Um, nothing much has happened, although everything, like a lot has happened, but nothing like too drastic. Um, in terms of health, I'm doing really well. Um, I've been a little sick, but I think nothing to complain about. Uh, I'm a very happy gal, life's going great, um, in the next vlog I'll also mention something about work uh, that you might not find that interesting anyways, but it's nice for me to, to vlog about it in journal. And yeah, like I said, a new vlog's coming next week as well. So no, there's, there's exciting things going on and in terms of like social media and influencing or just making content you know, online is doing really well. I'm actually making money out of it, which I find very cool. Uh, and that's absolutely thanks to everyone that watches, everybody that likes and comments and saves and shares and just like full on just supports. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're not doing, I just appreciate your existence. Uh, that being said, I'm going to end the vlog here. Don't forget to subscribe. So maybe you can make use of the you know, the discount code. Um, also like this video, send me a comment down below if there's anything you like to see, anything you don't like to see. I'm open for anything. I'm also going to upload a new f um, Indonesian video and it's going to be quite interesting because it's with my boyfriend Danny and his little bud brother Satria and it's about just, you know, being Indo, coming on holiday to the Netherlands or being Dutch and then going on holiday to Bali like your expectations and the difference and blah blah blah, blah. so if you're Indo if you speak Indo if you're interested in just miming and seeing me mime without you actually understanding what I'm saying subscribe and I hope to see you very soon bye